Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selector Sub and Crowpath. In this video, I will tell you each and everything about Selector Sub. If you are new to the channel, I would request you please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any upcoming innovation and updates on Selector Sub. The first question, what is Selector Sub? Selector Sub is a free browser extension to generate, write and verify XPath and CSS selectors for every web element any kind of web element whether it's an in inside shadow dom iframe svg all kinds of web element it supports it's a f absolutely free browser extension available for all the browsers chrome firefox safari opera edge and all the browsers which you can think of so let's see how to install and use it it's very simple just in single click just go to selectorsub.com here for whichever browser you want to install just click on this let's say we want to install it for chrome click on chrome it will direct you to the chrome store here on uh, click on this add to chrome button and as you see that it shows that read and change all your data and website that you visit display so this is a default pop-up whenever you add any extension so it comes so don't worry about that modified data that you copy and paste no it doesn't do that anything it is uh, this is required because uh, when you right click it also show you the option to uh, copy the selectors from direct from context menu for that purpose it is required I have created a separate video what all permission it has used and what is the region so if your company blocked it or anything like that that you can check I will leave the link in the description for that video tutorial so you can easily accept it it's absolutely secure it runs offline you can see that it runs offline as well as so that means it doesn't have any server and it runs in your local only so you need not to worry about that also you can read the pub publisher policy here that it doesn't collect any of your user data it's absolutely secure perfect so we have added these selectors up in our browser i would request you that uh, if it is better to restart the browser once you add it if not then you just open new tab and then there open the website after adding it where you can find the selectors up on the top top right corner here you will have this extension logo here default extension logo generally the extension logo comes here but it, in chrome it will not come here by default you will have to pin it to toolbar click on this logo here and then pin to toolbar now you can see here if you click on this you will find these details don't use the extension on the chrome store like if you start using on this store it will not work so because this is uh, blocked from the chrome store side google side none of the extension will work on the uh, like in the store from where you have installed so open a new website here as soon as you open like new tab many times we think that this is a google.com but actually if you realize see this this is a just new tab it's a default chrome tab where there's no url in the here in the address bar okay so you should not use extension on this tab let me show you why and here where you find the dev tools in the bot uh, where you find the selectors of in the dev tools you see let me if you close this and you right click and click on inspect here so where you will find left side elements tab is there let me zoom in on the right side you can see that couple of tabs so these we call it as sidebar so here selector sub comes as a sidebar and here if you don't see it click on this two arrow selector sub will be the last tab click on this okay so here is the selector sub as you click here in the blank new tab you will see this information that don't use it on blank tab open google.com after installation restart browser for more details you can watch this tutorial yeah so good click on google.com and that is the region that we ask it is open google.com not the blank tab now here when you will right click and click on inspect you will find the selectors up here and it worked like champ so this is the default uh, selectors up it will open with this view and here also it shows a pop-up that click to see the instruction how to make use of it if you click on this this will just show for the very first time so here this is a selectors up guide so you can uh, see and learn all about like basic instructions so that will help you only once that will show never again it will show now fine very first thing we'll see how to use selectors up as an editor so for that we will keep it off like there is a turn off button to or auto generate selectors click on off now we can write here the selectors and xpath we want to write 
so let's say we have to write the x bar for this element so what we will have to do you just inspect this element and start writing here as soon as you start typing you see that it gives you the auto suggest along with the occurrences and the uh, like whether you are typing x path or all so you can inspect click on this and here you get all the drop down so this works as a smart editor and here you say you can quickly build your own x path like in fraction of seconds so this is how you can quickly build your x path perfect if you are right if you want to write css select you can quickly build your css selector it gives all possible combinations of x path and css selector in auto suggest if you do anything wrong like selector sub has the uh, compile uh, error handling feature as well like if you will do anything wrong it will suggest you that what's wrong in your selectors like close square bracket is missing so it tells you that close square bracket missing selector sub is the only tool which gives you always the correct information of uh, your x path and css selector like suppose you want to find all the links on this page if you do that in double forward slash a here in dev tools you will find 75 because it is matching the string as well while if you do it in selector sub you see there are 35 links and what are those 35 these are the 35 links and good thing about it like when you inspect any element or let's say you write any x path here this one you have written it will highlight that in orange dotted outline like and if it will be hidden somewhere if you hit enter it will scroll to that viewable area and when you hover on this matching node here it shows all the matching nodes if you hover in this it will ch change this dotted outline to orange line uh, red red solid line like if you want to find out all the links if you type this so it will highlight the first matching link in the test orange line dressed in blue color you see and as you mouse over here it will change the color of this one you see that this you will so that you understand that this is the first matching node this is second this is third so likewise you can do it like very quickly now uh, what element it will show in auto suggest here drop down the current inspected element it will show with this reference so whatever drop down you will get here like while typing the auto suggest that will come for currently inspected element so that way you can build the x path good now we have written this x path and we want to save this value somewhere to write the new x path so you need not to save it somewhere in notepad you can directly here there is a button so save this in selectors so selectors up so here your saved value comes like if now if you can if you want to write a new x path you can write a new x path here and if you want to go back to the previous one you click here and you save it here maximum 10 value you can save here like one is saved total 10 value can you can save after that it will delete the old if you will try to save the new one it will delete the oldest one and save the new one so at a time there will be maximum 10 values if you want to delete all you can delete all and clear all these values from here cool now you have suppose you have written some x path and you want to uh, like while writing like you are writing here some x path here like this and this is giving auto suggest but sometimes you don't want to see those auto suggest so what you can do you can turn off these auto suggest by the turn uh, clicking on this button so now you can just simply use it as a very simple editor like you want to write your own x path and css selector you don't want to see auto suggest that you can turn off anytime you can turn on and whatever settings you will do here like you have done these ui changes here so if you will open next time selector sub it will open with your settings so you need not to worry about those settings that will be saved in your uh, local cool so we have seen these features now these were the editors feature you can write your verify and everything you can do it cool let's turn on both these button now you can see that you have a couple of options here so let me just go to some other website here and uh, like as you right click and inspect this any element here you will find that it will show all all the selectors all the possible selectors for the inspected element so you see that it is showing all the possible selectors like relative css selector relative x path and their occurrences here everything if you scroll down you will see each and everything link text path link text js path so whichever possible is there uh, selectors for this element it will show all of them and it used to generate very unique and uh, relative xpath and css selectors if you copy the xpath and css selector from here
from dev tools or any other tool out there so you can compare that how better selectors it generates you see that it generates the relative css selectors as well okay coming to the more features here like let's say you want to what is these these filters here so this is basically attribute filter like it is generating with title but you don't want with title you want with something else like you want with uh, let's say uh, for this element you want with data toggle like you can pass your own attribute and hit enter it will generate the selectors with your own attribute and if it generate with let's say it is generating with id so you can also uh, like you doesn't want with id because this is looks like dynamic and selectors will also suggest you that id looks dynamic so uncheck this id so like now it is generating with class you can uncheck the class so this way you can generate the selectors with your own choice and it's really helpful and first preference it will give into this element if you want to see more like what preferences are there there's a separate tutorial you can check that out cool now we have got these selectors suppose we want to get the complete command of this uh, uh, selenium and all or whichever technology you are writing uh, cypress selenium so like here this x path we got but what about like driver dot find element we want that with complete that thing so that also you can do it here suppose we want driver dot find element something like that and by dot x path i'm just giving an example your command could be anything and wherever you have written x path in your command just replace that with x path value and hit enter it will come like this so now you can copy you can click to copy here on this button or anywhere in the header to copy this value if you want to edit this x path you can click on this here and click it will come here and you can write and edit and verify anything you can do it this could be your anything like for cypress you want to type cy.cat and wherever you are written uh, css selected just replace that with x path value and hit enter it will do it you can copy this value and use it in your script so this is how you can do it awesomely perfect and you can turn it off anytime you want don't want to see them you can keep it off you can also generate the multiple x path and multiple css selectors so you can click on this button now you inspect these elements and you will see that it will generate all of them together so this way you can generate the all possible selectors for multiple elements like this and you want with command you just turn on this command you see that now you got the command you can click to copy all click on this button this all got copied you can go back to your editor and paste it you can click this xpath command your css select command anything you can do it you can also export in the xls sheet as well you want to see in more detail in this video click on this to watch the tutorial on this feature there are certain kinds of elements which we cannot uh, like easily inspect them because those are really dynamic and invisible element like this here you right click take or disappear so for them we uh, in selectors sub you have the feature of debugger which you click on this button here let me just turn off this one you want uh, to inspect that element invisible element click on this debugger and within 5 second make it appear here this drop down and after that you can inspect this element here and you see that it will generate you would be able to inspect this dynamic element so this is really amazing feature of selector sub there are like uh, features like uh, to support playwright because playwright doesn't use the single code like that doesn't support single code in x path like it is generating with single code so for that we need double code so the, here is a button if you want to generate x path and select us in double code click on this it will generate with double codes now and these all settings will be saved in local uh on this website when we were inspecting element just go to here and home page and when we inspected this element there are like so many ins, uh, elements here like so many selectors has been generated you see so now we have to scroll up and down here and many times people doesn't to know get to know that so many selectors are possible for this for that you click on this button to see that all of them now you will not have to scroll again and again you just keep on inspecting so this is for basically for better view you will not have to and whenever you see these pop ups are coming requesting i'm requesting you guys for review and rating so please do them please support and once you close them they will never appear again so that's a good setting it just appear once and request once so please add reviews it will support like we have done lot of settings like in ui and this uh, command we have saved this command will be saved in local so don't worry about that so if you want to change that to default everything click on this reset button 
it will change your everything to the default view default view default command and everything so it will be in default mode so this is for default now you can also uh, like you see on this page here if we do this one so here you see that like you have this uh, lower case upper case lower case upper case so what if you want to uh, generate the selectors or like let me take a better simple example like here s is capital e is small and all these upper case and lower case you want to convert that into uh, lower case or case insensitive selectors you would say so there is a button which will convert help you to generate the case insensitive css selector and x path so now this is case insensitive if you want to verify this will work like if you convert into smallest this will work if you want to convert this this will not work so if you want to convert that add i so this is how it will help you you can also use uh, selector sub as a like uh, for a scrapping as well like suppose you want to write an x path or you want to find all the links which has text and what are the text of those links so you can write like this way and hit enter there are 27 links which has text and these are the text of those links you want to find out all the attributes value like let's say href value of links hit enter these are all the href values and there are 35 anchor tag which has href value so this way you can help a lot you can also write uh, x path for elements which let's say you are not able to make a unique x path so in that case you put the cursor in the beginning here and type open parenthesis it will generate it will give you the you uh, index based x path as well in this way you can do it now let me show you some good features like it supports shadow dom nested shadow dom so how quickly you can do that you just have to inspect the element and no other uh, no other tool out there supports shadow dom only selector sub support even dev tools doesn't support so here you see that as soon as you inspect and open selector sub it shows in shadow dom this is css selector this element uh, doesn't support x path and uh, this is the complete script for that you can click to copy this value and use it in your script so this helps a lot this is shadow dom for more detailed video uh, on shadow dom feature please watch i will leave the link in the uh, description for the shadow dom th feature if it is a uh, like uh, nested shadow dom it will show you two nested shadow dom are there svg element everything or, or each and every detail it will show you if there are iframes, nested iframe, it will give you all the information about that element. You just open selector sub, single click, everything, all the information out there. In iframe, this is iframe xpath, these are the selectors for this inspected element. So everything you get it here. If it will be inside uh, multiple iframes, nested shadow DOM, uh, nested iframes, it will give you all the information here. Two iframes, two nested iframe, this is first iframe, second iframe, and then this is the x path for the element inspected so all the information you get out there so this is really helpful really amazing and i hope you are enjoying it if you have any issue or anything click on this selector sub logo here you can raise the request on bagasura i would really recommend you to raise the any issue or bug on bagasura that's more uh, like i can get better information or you can raise it on github i would really request you please add the review for selector sub Please join the telegram group for uh, discuss anything related to selectors or any xpath thing. Uh, you can also join the slack channel as well, selectors of slack channel for all the home uh, related info, more information about selectors. This is a home page link. Huge thanks to our uh, sponsor, all the sponsors and patron, those who are supporting all the donors. I would really request you if selectors sub is helping in your job and in your business please be a patron support selector sub please donate for selector sub i am working full time on selector sub and supporting you guys so please be patron and please donate even one dollar per month that will be great more than enough you can just click on this link and it will take you to the uh, donation page here you can be a patron one dollar patron that will be great help just one coffee per month i guess you can buy it that's not be an issue you can choose whichever way you want that will be great help Please support and uh, not many people are aware about this amazing innovation. So I would really request you with my folding hand that please share selectors up. If you are, uh, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have a testing blog, please write about it. Uh, you can feel free to uh, create tutorials on it, in, include it in your uh, training session, training course. It will really help a lot of students and everyone to learn new concept about XPath, SVG, selectors, uh, shadow DOM. 
many people are learning a lot of things it's a uh, editor feature it's really helping a lot of people to learn new new concept like what is missing what is wrong in your xpath when you write like this if something got missed it will help you that what is missing if you do anything wrong in your xpath it will tell you what what to do what not to do for shadow rom if you will write xpath here it will tell you that no this is X, uh, xpath will not support this is inside shadow rom so all all the things are there then uh, it really helps a lot in learning if you want to uh, get copy the selectors value like there are certain kinds of uh, drop down which you cannot inspect easily like this kind of drop down when you right click and inspect they disappear so how to write the x path for them so for that like without using debugger feature you can also copy the value from the context menu you can directly copy and this context menu is customizable like you are seeing currently by default copy relative x path only you can get all these value as well as you can turn off this one so now if you right click you will get all the options here so this is really helpful and this is huge time saver for you all so i hope you liked it please uh, give a thumbs up like it and share it and please let me know in the comment section how selectors up is helping you and for which technology you are using it with that thank you thank you so much keep sharing keep loving